Hello and welcome to this new let's play of Danganronpa Another. And today, or rather for this entire let's play, joining me is Yen. Hi! You can also call me Osiria. Either works. But I'm really excited because I love this series. <laughs> and I am excited to find out what this series is about. I... It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> I sure hope so. Let's go! <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Game start. Danganronpa another. How do you... Linuji? I think it's Linus. Linus. Yeah, I think so. That's that's how I've heard some of my friends say, it, say mm. the name. So I've just been defaulting to that. <laughs> It, it People makes... in the comments can correct, just be polite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, 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 so changes the variation from the original setting. Da, 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 da. Thankfully, it oh. is already in window mode. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Bless Easy RPG for making stuff like that easy. Yeah. RPG Maker, good. Yeah, that's one of the most impressive things about the Another series, is it's all made in RPG Maker. I love RPG Maker, but yeah, that's uh, that's not the easiest engine for a Danganronpa game. No, but this is done very impressively. All right, I'm leaving you... this start to you. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming I'm gonna be the protagonist then. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hope's Peak Academy. A school with a long tradition of fostering, fostering talented ones from all fields of society. This government-approved privileged school aims to gather and educate hundreds of world-class high school students. Graduating the school is even considered a guaranteed success for the rest of one's life. Knowing the purpose of raising hope for the country's future, one might say it certainly deserves to be called the School of Hope. The school's colossal building lies in the heart of the city, towering all over who pass by. As if it is the very center of the world. Very reminiscent of the first game. Yep. There are two requirements to enroll in the school. One must be currently enrolled in high school. One must excel at their field of expertise. There are no freshman recruits, and only those who are scouted by the academy are allowed to enter. And the one standing in front of its honorable gate... ...is me. <laughs> For a second I thought he was gonna be standing there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw this scene, but not quite. <laughs> not yet, or... yeah. Yeah, something like that. There he is. All I know about him is that he is somehow in the second game. <laughs> That's the only context I want you to know about him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I think he's the lucky student? Yes. Alright. <clears throat> First, what should I say to start this off? If I were to explain the person who is monologuing right now. My name is Yuki Maeda. Though, I suppose there won't be many people wondering about it. Um, this, uh, it's the last name, but it makes me think of Komaeda. You, you did say it correctly. That's good. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not handsome, tall, or have a strange aura surrounding myself. He's just like, I'm just your average Joe. <laughs> yeah, he's saying it... Uh, I must say he comes off not as average as Makoto, though. <laughs> right now. I, I do agree with that, and I think it's because he's a redhead. That... Like, that is the one thing that sticks out to me the most. It's like, he doesn't look plain enough because he's so ginger <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, maybe that's because <laughs> uh. it kind of 
blends in with the rest of his design, you know, like his whole like school outfit, and I'm just like, oh, I see, I see why you'd made him ginger because it blends more. But also, I don't know if I would call his design boring because <laughs> it, it 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 isn't. That depends on how the other characters look. Okay, that's very true. You'll see that later. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I'm just one of the ordinary students that you can see in the streets at any morning. Do you have any... Do you like whatever it's currently popular at the moment, or are you a bit, a bit better than Makoto at that? <laughs> My skills are average. My grades are actually pretty good, but on a national scale, also average. Oh, that's fine, dude. I do have a great amount of curiosity that drives me to crave for knowledge, but it's nothing big. It's something. Mans has aspirations. <laughs> yes, he has something he likes to do. <laughs> Yay! As an ordinary student up to middle school, I was I was very curious about Hope Speaks Hope Speak Academy. I hate my accent coming through whenever there's a V. I I don't mind it personally. Very. <laughs> because of it, I know a bit more about the school than others. I think. Hope Speak Academy has always had a special place in my mind, and I'm standing at that exact place right before its gate. Yuki Maeda. Ah, now they are showing his name, actually. I've yes. seen this gate several times on the media, but actually passing through it as a student makes me nervous. Can someone like me really go here? I could understand why people say being curious about something and experiencing it yourself are different. Before even entering, I was overwhelmed by the immense pressure of the school. You might be wondering why I'm so tense right now. Because I'm about to begin the new school life? It's true, but before going into the real cause, I should start with what happened last night. What happened? computer of course he did the research <laughs> yeah as he would I wanted to know so much about this year's ultimate students so I went through relevant internet threads to look up some information only students on the top of their respective fields are selected by the Academy and they get so popular on the internet to the point that exclusive threads are created just for discussions Ultimate Professor? Ooh. How very high school level. <laughs> yeah. Heated conversations were already going on about this year's new students. Some of them were ones I have seen on newspapers and TV. For example, the ultimate police officer who fights against crime on the front lines with his commendable intellect and exceptional physical ability. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> yeah, um, this one. That's all I have to say. This one is something. Yeah, all I know is I personally don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> There's another character that talks as much as him later. And they look way too similar, and I want that one instead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he then. <laughs> I don't like police. So he's already, uh... Doesn't have a good first impression. <laughs> nah, no, no, it's alright. I don't like him either. I'm just like, if you're in uniform, I don't trust you. <laughs> yeah. Except for firefighters. Yeah, those ones are alright. Th those guys, they can pass. I mean, there are always bad eggs everywhere, but... But I'm also at the yeah. BS. I have a lot to do with firefighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's a whip. <laughs> She's... 
I personally think you would have a lot of fun voicing her. She's also like the girl boss of this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this could uh, go two ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or the ultimate professor renowned for working in the world's most prestigious university to mentor actual college students who is a high school student. Somehow, probably. She's just like, I'm smarter than all of you. <laughs> Skipping all them grades. And the ultimate soccer player, the current ace of the national youth athletes team who was confirmed to advance to the Premier, Premier League big club. Big club? Yeah, big. <laughs> it's just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's big. Yup. Others mentioned include the ultimate pilot, ultimate surgeon, ultimate sprinter, ultimate sniper, ultimate cheerleader, ultimate lawyer. I don't think I've seen a fangan with ultimate pilot or surgeon before. The pilot is really cute. I love him. Um, <laughs> people are kind of mixed on the ultimate cheerleader. I think she's cute. Um, I've seen the ultimate sniper. I don't know much about her personality. And there's some missing from this list. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't think they want to uh, <laughs> list, make an entire list of all of them. <laughs> it would be a bit... Yeah, considering, considering DR casts usually have about 15, 16. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. I am looking forward to meeting everyone. Yeah, they're... They're, they're a colorful cast. I like them. Most oh. of them. Most of them. <laughs> there's, there's, there's one in game one that everyone notoriously doesn't like. <laughs> I mean, I would be surprised if there wasn't a character that everyone hates, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta need a few shitsters in the cast. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially in a DR cast. If you don't, then what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. There gotta be someone who makes trouble always. All those who shine so brightly compared to me. There also seemed to be a strange person called the Ultimate Exorcist, but that person must have been scouted because of their remarkable talent as well. <laughs> that, that's definitely a uh, talent that may be very relevant or not at all. I like her. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. As I simultaneously grew excited and anxious, my curios curiosity about the Ultimates continued to pile up. Now, why am I so worried about this? After all, I'm an ordinary person with nothing more than a fist for first for knowledge, so why all the fuss? Find out in my letter of admission. This year, Hope Speak Academy held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend to our school. You have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Yeah. Our lucky student. That's right. Yep. Ultimate luck. Chance, fluke. Good fortune. You know, I must say I like how he narrates more than Makoto. Yeah, I think he has like a little more personality flair whenever he narrates because like he adds a little bit of snark and like nerves in the way he talks and I'm like, yeah, you're gonna grow on me. <laughs> I mean, I also super like Nako Makoto, but it's noticeable that there's more flair in the dialogue. Yeah, I will say out of all the main game DR protagonists, and I specifically mean 1, 2, and V3, hmm. I, I personally like Makoto and Kaede the most. Hmm. But I, I, I hesitate to, to, to mention one, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> Hmm, hmm, hmm. <sighs> alrighty, alrighty. I'm also very curious about the protagonist of the second uh, another game. Because female protagonist. Oh, I love her. She is my whole heart. And 
I have I have to voice her myself. <laughs> I love her so much. Feel free to. <laughs> I was the one who was picked among millions of high school students across the country. Frankly, I kind of regret accepting the admission a bit. But considering that entering the academy is the fantasy of high school students nationwide and a ticket to success, it was hard not to. There's only a dozen ultimate students in the whole country. Being able to be the classmate was enough to get me excited and connections. But now that I am facing this massive building right in front of me, can you see why I feel a little intimidated? It is a huge ass campus. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a school that look that looks anywhere massive as that. Or rather like I the have... height. Yeah, I have surprisingly because at first when I started seeing like the DR games like campuses, I was like there's no way schools are that big. No, there is. You just need to go to a university. <laughs> Yeah, I must. They have the really tall towers, and I'm like, why? <laughs> My university didn't have a tower, but it was also quite massive. It was a castle. Oh yeah, mm, I'm a little envious. That sounds fun. <laughs> uh, not super fun because the entire campus was the entire town. Oh wow! So everywhere That's was stuff. Nuts. That reminds me of a few campuses near me that, like, one, one of my family members went to, and another one, like, is just notorious by name. So, I, I get it. I've seen them that big before. It's just a little wacky when it when it's right there in your face. You're just like, you know, people talk about this, but it's big. It's, it's way different whenever you're experiencing it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, no, I kind of miss my university building. Don't miss... Yeah. I don't miss university itself, though. Oh yeah, no, that's so stressful. <clears throat> it's 7.50 right now. All freshmen are supposed to go to the entrance hall before 8, so I guess I'm on time. Oh, he's on time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not an hour uh, early? Yeah. Uh, since it's too late to go back, let's be positive. I should start with going and... In the building. I can't stand here forever. Yeah, right. Let's do it. <laughs> RPG maker sound effect. Yeah, there's a lot of those. <laughs> uh, it gives a lot of flavor. Yeah, it does. Wow, the interior. There wasn't much information about the facilities, so it's my first time seeing these. Anyway, let's head to the entrance hall. The other ultimate students, I wonder if they're already here. Don't fake me out. No need to get nervous, the academy recognized my luck as a talent, so I can, pr can be proud of it. Let's be confident, they'll probably be good people. I called myself and made up my mind. Right, I'm already inside Hope Speak Academy. This one step I'll make will be full of hope. Look at him go! Look at him, little man's. Little man's moving around on your screen. <laughs> yes. Little right. Yuki Maeda's. <laughs> and I cannot go to the menu yet. No. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think so. Soon, though, I, I, I think. Soon. Alrighty then. Either that, or I actually don't remember if this game has a menu. I think it does. It's been a while. I've only seen bits and pieces of one, but I know all of two. <laughs> hmm. I'm just wondering when I'll be able to save. Yeah! <laughs> this should be the entrance hall. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the little the little sound effects. <laughs> mm. The entrance hall. From what I remember, all freshmen were told to gather here. When I stepped inside, what I saw was... Ah, yes, the Dengenrompa pose. 
Yep. <laughs> Except for some of them. Yeah. <laughs> So here's the friends. Hmm. Them. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know and I don't know any of the I don't know who all is talking first. This is gonna be something. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just throw it around until we figure it out. Huh? Another person came. I've heard that there's fifty new students this time, so we must be all here. Hello! You're a freshman too, right? What are you doing there? Hey, hey, come here! Oh, I think I know who that one is. <laughs> They're the ones selected to enter Hope Speak Academy this year, like me. The very symbols of hope were standing right by my, eye right by my eyes. <laughs> Everyone looks so very cute. <laughs> Their sprites are adorable. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey, are you all this year's freshmen? Ah, fucking this guy. <clears throat> I'll take him. Oh, okay. Yep, you're the last to come. Though I shouldn't make fun of you, because I was the 14th. Whoa, you all came early. I thought it could take some time coming here since the call time was 8. Hmm, not really. It hasn't been long since we all gathered here. Just say the word when uh, you don't want one. Oh, I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and getting all the characters you don't like. I, I I am I am throwing Mr. Blue Hair at you for sure. Please take him. I do not want him. <laughs> <laughs> will do, will do. It was like a group of late students rushing in all at once. Uh, when did you all just arrive here? Uh, then did you all just arrive here? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> voice making. <clears throat> no, it's alright. I'll be re recycling my voices a lot because I'm a little rusty on my range, so go nuts. <laughs> uh, I suppose so. Now that you came, we're finally all here. They're the ultimate students, excelling in each of their fields. I noticed some who look certainly beyond my level, but most of them seem nice and friendly. Um, nice to meet you all. So we're all going to be classmates this year. You can have her. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm already looking forward to this new school life in Hopspeak Academy. Oh man, do I want? Do I want Kizuna? Do I want her? Mm, yeah, I'll take her. <laughs> I thought a bunch of weirdos. I thought of a bunch of weirdos when I heard this ultimate thing, but you guys look pretty normal than what I thought. I do want him, though. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure He's you... just too cute for me to pass up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I should maybe write down all of the characters I, I get. I... <laughs> yeah, it, it'll, be, it'll be a bit of a... it'll be something. I mean... So it wasn't just me. I was halfway excited. I, meh. I was half excited when ha and half worried over what what my classmates would be like. That surprised me. I was so worried of meeting the others because I'm the only student chosen by my luck. But those with the real ultimate titles were thinking about the same thing. Hey guys, how about introducing ourselves to each other since we all came here? You can take him too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, can I ma can I make a buff guy voice? If you want to, I mean, just go nuts. I'm like, I'm trying to split up the ones that I that I know certain things about. <laughs> but yeah, 
We can also read Divi rolls later because again, I don't remember everything. Yeah, that's uh, that could very well happen. Yep. <clears throat> uh, you mean a self introduction? That actually isn't bad. Thank you. It will take a while for the teachers to get here, and we don't even know our, each other's names yet. If we're going to be classmates in Hope Speak Academy, shouldn't we get to know each other? I did skip a word, didn't I? <laughs> uh... I will say, this is a soft spoiler, but orange hair, blue hair, and him do show up in game two, which is tr why I'm trying to split them up. So I will take this one, just because he shows up in game two. All right. He has interesting hair. He's something. Uh, icebreakers. I'm already feeling a bit all overish. That sounds like a good idea. There's nothing else to do here anyway. Besides, we should at least know e what each other's names are. Take her. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> then we have it settled. Introduction time. A chance to learn about the others for the first time. I'm starting to get curious and want to talk as long as I can to know about my classmates. Considering that we just meet each other, let's let's get familiar with them little by little through talking. This was a bit unexpected, but it's how friends are made, right? Let's start with these five. Ah. You can save There's the save button. Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny sound. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Alrighty then. Do we choose... Uh... You choose the first one, I choose the second one. Um, Go for Miss Maid first. Alright. Hi, my name is Akane Tyra. Akane. Nice to meet you. Of course. Yeah, I mean, outfit kind of gives it away. <laughs> yeah. Akana Taira. She drew everyone's attention in the thread, being the ultimate maid. She's a master of cooking, cleaning, hospitality, management, and all services except for a few indecent ones. <laughs> uh, okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. Just speaking out what everyone is trying to ignore. Yeah. She works by employment, so she travels anywhere that can afford to hire her. Her cute appearance and bright personality has already idolized her among wealthy business owners. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Maeda. Nice to meet you too, Yuki. I understand now that I've met... Yeah. I understand now that I've met her for real. Why people were saying, I wish I had enough money to hire Akane in the thread. I thought it was pretty hard to see a real maid nowadays. Unless you go somewhere like a maid cafe in Ak Akihabara. Maid cafe? That's just a cafe. Will you please not compare me to those part timers? <laughs> part timers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, that's the part you're worried about, sweetheart, are you sure? <laughs> Good god. What I am doing is not for those otakus. I take pride in my work because it helps people in need and gives them happiness. Get it? Don't ever say that again. I mean, I can't imagine that it would be... Uh... I don't think real life maids are too happy about maid cafes either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the butlers aren't quite happy with the butler ones either. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Just a long pause before dignifying that with an answer. <laughs> I'm sorry, that took me out. <laughs> I drank a little, I guess. And no, 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 I know. I knew that's what you were doing, but I was just like, I'm just gonna make this funnier. <laughs> hmm. Uh, sorry, was what, uh, it was the first thing that came to mind when I saw you in a maid uniform. Now that you know, it's fine. Since I'm talented in helping others, I'll help you any time when you have a problem. She's a kind person with a bright personality. Her work seems to be of great pride for her. Still, I have a feeling that she'll become really scary if she gets angry. As is natural for people with pride. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, pick whoever you want, because I am also typing out the names at the same time while we split them. Okay. To make it easier for later, because I don't remember the names of the, of the entire first cast, just the second. <laughs> I mean, it's like, how many names? Uh, 36? A lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I am a Hatano. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I figured out uh, from the outfit. Yeah, yeah, from the outfit. It, it just gives it away, hands it to you. Yeah. I am a Hatano. From what I saw in the thread, she holds the world record of running 100 meter in 9 seconds and is getting the world's attention for a promising future in track and field events. I'm Yuki Maeda. Uh, nice to meet you too. Right, I'm not good at talking with others, so please understand if I speak nonsense or wander off by myself. I've been hearing that a lot. I get tired of talking with you, something like that. That's why I like sports. Both me and my opponent can focus on our mi focus on our minds without any words. Maybe it's the reason I reason I'm being a sprinter. Uh, sorry, I started wandering off again. My apologies for annoying you. Oh, I see what I see what the terminology is here. She's using wandering off it for to replace the word rambling. Okay, uh. I see. Uh, no, it wasn't annoying at all. No need to apologize. Uh, right, my bad. I still have a long way to go. Uh, she looks strong, upright, and really tough. But she also seems a bit odd at times. But let's keep that to myself to make matters simple. I don't see much odd things at all. Uh, I think she's just excitable. Mm-hmm. I relate. It's completely understandable. Yeah. Uh, far left. His name is Haru. Hi. My name's Haru. K Fuck. I always forget his name. It's gonna be so hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> like I see it and I'm like, "Fuck!" I remember how. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Give me a second. Kobashikawa, Kob Kobashikawa, Kobashikawa, Kobashikawa. This is going to really fuck with me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Haru Haruhiko Kobashikawa. Nice to meet you. Let's get along. <laughs> That's a big smile. He's he's a good boy. <laughs> Pilot is also a bit. <laughs> the head. The head. Yeah. Kobashikawa? Yes. The one who became a hot topic for the passenger plane test flight at Narita Airport? Uh huh? You know you knew me? Wow, this is kind of embarrassing. Right now, I'm the Kobashikawa you're talking about. Haruhiko Kabashika. Uh, his his name is such a mouthful, isn't it? I'm just like help. If it's just one Haru part. helps, your name is so long. 
This is why I call him Haru, because I'm like, your name is so long, help. Yeah. <laughs> if it's just one part of the name, then it's not that much of a problem, but together it's uh, some uh, one syllable is going to get uh, distorted anyway. Yeah, it's so much. <laughs> <clears throat> Haruhiko Kobashikawa. Ah, yes. I think I saw him from the HPA new student thread yesterday. He's the ultimate pilot who flew a light aircraft at the age of five and then became an expert in operating all kinds of aircrafts, like airliners, helicopters, and even space probes. Space? A few days ago, I was asked to fly a plane with real passengers to celebrate my admission to Hope Speed Academy as an ultimate pilot. What I used to do was secret test flights, cargo t transport, and acrobatics, but carrying people with real airliner was pretty fun too. That's a lot of different stuff. Oh yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Man's just like, hi, I'm a stunt pilot. <laughs> yeah. Of course, someone else had to do the announcements for me, because I'm terrible at foreign languages. <laughs> That's what you're terrible at? <laughs> it's like, it's like, alright buddy, that's the one thing you're worried about when you have this whole other resume. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. <laughs> I mean, he's gotta have a weakness somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, being a pilot, doesn't it require those kinds of skills? Well, that's true. Most of the time. I just drive with my senses. That's Buddy, bit... what? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit roaring when you're, like, carrying people. Uh, Haru, beloved, what? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> oh no. I've been flying planes since I was young without any instructions. I never got any specialized education on it. <laughs> Who gave you planes? <laughs> Who? Wait! <laughs> Who gave you access to a working plane? <laughs> Who did it? Who do I need to grab the shoulders and shake? <laughs> yeah. Who did this? <laughs> my guy. Oh my god. What's your definition of young? <laughs> Also, <laughs> yeah, that's the other. That's what took me on about the comment. I'm like, wait, how young? How young are we speaking? What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, well, mm, uh, okay. Both of us collective anxiety spike just by that statement alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Using senses when a single mistake can lead to a fatal event. Is that what geniuses are like? God, Yuki, right on the point. I just... Mm. <laughs> explains it better. By the way, what's your name? Oh, sorry. My name is Yuki Maeda. I hope we can be good friends, Haruhiko. Yeah, just call me Haru. Let's get along. Thank God. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm just, this is why everyone just calls him Haru. I'm like, good. He literally lays it out. Thank you. You at least know your name is like a... It's a mouthful. I can't say it. <laughs> now for the first time in my life, I feel a bit of uh, solidarity towards the people who decided to give nicknames to Kiyotaka and uh, Aoi in the first oh game. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> because I always thought, what do you mean? Why are they getting nicknames? It's so easy to pronounce. In... <laughs> it might be easier to pronounce when you've already known the characters for like a year. Yeah, and then you meet the, and then you meet one of these, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, love him. He's a good little bean. But I just, I saw his name again for the first time. I was like, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Haru, Haru, Haru. Haru, beloved. Thank you for the shortening of your name. <laughs> mm. He looks like a cheerful and sociable person. It's relieving to know that he isn't a mad genius type. I don't think there are many mad geniuses in the world. I don't think so. Mm. 
All right, let me flex my buff guy voice. <laughs> uh, Kakeru Yamaguchi. Nice to meet you. I'm here as the ultimate lawyer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I was waiting for your reaction because I, d I didn't remember his name, but I remembered his profession and I was just like, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, I, your reaction is exactly what mine was when I figured that out. I'm like, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you study law looking like this? <laughs> uh, he's gotta do something when he's not lawyering. Yeah, I. <laughs> yes, I just. <laughs> God, there's so much more you could do, please. <laughs> At least he's got like the looks and the brains though, right? Like yeah, literally not... the perfect man. <laughs> not like, a himbo. God damn. Not a himbo. Sadly. Not a himbo. Not a himbo. <laughs> You're gonna be very useful in trials, hopefully. Yep. And Kakeru Yamaguchi. I saw in a thread that he is the ultimate lawyer who became proficient in the study of legal knowledge at a young age and is currently in the workforce. Of course. I wonder what kind of nerd he would be when I just read the info. Are you really Kakeru Yamaguchi? <laughs> uh, what do you mean by that? What was that? He looks more like someone in a gang. Oh god, he has the attitude. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gonna be the new prosecutor in an Ace Attorney game. Oh, absolutely, I can see it. <laughs> Gotta have an attitude then. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're a lawyer, right? You look kinda different from what I imagined. Uh, no offense, please don't get angry. I'm... I'm not angry, uh, um, it's... <laughs> That's a nice sprite. This sprite is everything, actually. Now I understand why Arya loves him so much. I see it. I, I, I am connecting brain cells with you right now, Arya. I see it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good first impression, yeah. It's... that's so cute. <laughs> uh... It's it's that I tend to be a bit shy. Uh, how should I explain with an experience like this? I was just trying to look less frightening. You know that I don't look like a lawyer. Uh, okay, uh, sorry about that. You don't have to do it now. But doesn't a lawyer speak in court with a lot of people watching? If you're that shy, I can't imagine you doing it. The court... <clears throat> uh, the court is a different matter. I can bring myself to be confident in everyday conversations for a strange region, reason. <laughs> uh, anyway, my name is Yuki Maeda. Nice to meet you. Right, Yuki. Nice to meet you. Let's break the ice and be close friends. I was staggered to find him so different from what I imagined at first, but he doesn't seem like a bad person. So, why did he grow those muscles as a lawyer? Maybe I'll ask him later. Grow those self muscles. Self-esteem, my guy. He's gotta raise his self-esteem when people are staring at him in a courtroom all day. He's gotta have the confidence. He's working on it. <laughs> I mean, it sure works as intimidating the other the other people in the courtroom so oh definitely <laughs> all right then yeah yeah we can we can do him <laughs> mm, i think we will do this guy and then end the part for now yeah sure all right yo nice to meet you you probably know who i am already well let me introduce myself anyway i'm Mitsuhiro Higa. Or Mitch, as you might know. Mitch. Mitch. Derogatory. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> Mitch. 
Mitch. <laughs> That's gonna be a running joke now, I swear to god. Oh no. Mitch, the ace play off the national youth's athletes team, right? Right. I'm Mitch Higa. That's what I was expecting. Matsuhiro Higa. His immense popularity meant I didn't even need to search the thread. Given his title of a super rookie in the national team, he surely deserves to be the ultimate soccer player. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Maeda. I hope we can become good friends. Yeah, sure thing. But I think I've never heard of you before. You look too ordinary. Can't really feel the aura. Thank you. <laughs> He's such a jerk, I'm sorry! <laughs> Pretentious little shit, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not gonna say anything else, but I'm just like, I hold Mitch by the shoulders and I shake him very roughly. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do have a high tolerance for, ass for assholes. I mean, I like Togami. I... I'm gonna i I'm gonna say it somewhere else. I d I just don't wanna spoil people. Oh boy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh no. That's why I took him, because I don't know if you're comfortable. <laughs> uh okay. Okay. Yeah, I can I can talk more about it later. It's not now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. This is certainly something. Mhm. Mm uh, it's because I'm. Eh, never mind. Maybe it's because I'm so famous compared to you. Forget about it. Thank you. Him. <laughs> I keep laughing because I'm just like, oh my god, he's so pretentious. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, how do you feel about a world-class celebrity like me being your classmate? Want an autograph? Uh, sure, if that makes you happy. <clears throat> uh, sure, I'll ask you later. Being a soccer player did make him much more famous than the other students. But can't you fix that attitude? All I saw on TV was him playing soccer, so maybe this is what he's normally like. <laughs> well, it seems I've talked to all five of them. Let's go talk to the other ones who finished their introduction. Whoop. Next are these five. Alrighty then, and then I would make a cut right here. Sure. Let's... Yeah. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye. Yep, see you soon. <laughs>